Be sure to check out my store for the stuff I use and templates at a low cost, and get my everything pack so you can have everything in my store at a reduced cost, less than $20 if you tweet it out. What's up guys, Quezzy here bringing you guys another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own odd future slash like donut text. Um, if you guys have never seen uh, odd futures logo, this is um, sort of what it looks like or what it does look like. Um, basically just donut text. And uh, I got a client request to do something, or well, to do this, and I thought it was pretty cool, and I kind of marked it in my mind to uh, do this as a tutorial eventually, and now the time has come. But, um, yeah, the uh, only drawback to this for some people might be that you have to actually draw by hand the letters, and um, mainly it's because it's difficult to just freelance pen tooling these letters, because there's no font that I found that really worked with this. But um, drawing it is not very difficult. You just basically draw bubble letters with like squigglier lines. Uh, obviously, you're watching some footage of me drawing these right now. And I'm not artistically talented when it comes to drawing things with my hands. Like it takes me a long time to do stuff like simple stuff. And I usually need some references too. So like I am by no means an artist at all. I can't really draw off the top of my head. But this was fairly easy and I was able to do this. Um, here's my like final drawing for this text. And you can see it looks very similar to my final product. So you just want to draw something, uh, draw your letters out, and you just want to basically do the icing part of this. Um, you can see I do like the, I draw the breaded part behind, um, like the yellow part. Uh, you don't really have to do that, although it really helps complete the image in your, your head because it it looks really stupid when it's just the icing um, outline, if you get what I'm saying. But uh, once you finish your drawing, you want to save it and put it on your computer by any means you want. I personally usually just take a picture of it and email it to myself because that's real fast. Uh, but you can scan it, like just plug in your phone, your computer, whatever. You just get it on your computer. And once you do that, you want to go ahead into Illustrator, and I'm just going to create a new file for this. And it's going to be a 2000 by 1500 document, uh, RGB color mode, and we're going to go ahead and create. And you just want to go ahead and get your image and drag it on. And this should actually fit my image perfectly, like so. Pretty good. And I'm going to lock that layer, actually, and create a new one. And this is going to be the layer we're going to create the icing part with. So what you want to do is outline the icing part of your text that you drew. So get the pen tool. Um, the fill should be selected in white. You want to hit none, so you just have a black stroke. And then you just want to go and outline the um, icing part. So um, do something like this. It doesn't have to be perfect either. You just need to get the general outline. And um, if you're not good with the pen tool, I'd recommend practicing this on the like first couple letters and if you're not comfortable with it just keep going until you uh, you kind of get it down I know a lot of people struggle with the pen tool in Illustrator sometimes and personally I don't find it that difficult it's just you have to get the right points to create the shape you want and after a few letters of practicing you should be able to get it down and it shouldn't be too difficult um, but yeah so you want to do something like this I'm just gonna go ahead and close this off real quick and drag in my letters from the previous document. All right, so you want to outline your letters, and then once you do that, you can basically just hide the reference layer, and you should be pretty good. Um, you don't, I don't think you should need that the rest of the time unless you want to keep pulling up it, pulling it up as a reference. But you can see I'm just going to do the M and K because I don't want to do all the letters for this tutorial, and I'm going to kind of line these up a bit better to have some overlap, like so. That looks pretty good. And you can see, I was telling you how the icing by itself kind of like looks stupid, like the icing portion of the text. You can see the K looks really dumb in my opinion, the M looks pretty dumb too. But uh, once you add all the little effects, it should come together pretty nicely. But we're going to select both of these and go up to stroke and we're going to do uh, 13 point stroke, hit enter. So you should have something like this, it's already looking a little better. Um, then you want to select again and we want to do a fill. So I have the color already here, and the code for it is EF9AD1, if you also want to use it. I'm just going to copy it for now. Alright, so now we have our two 
uh, letters here you obviously might have more but you want to create a layer for each letter um, and you'll see why in a second so I'm just gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna open up the original layer and I'll drag I'll actually drag the M in there since it's the first layer and it's gonna be on top I'm gonna have the K layer below it and I'm gonna name these I'm gonna name this capital K and then this capital M and then we want to go ahead and lock these layers and we want to go select the bottom most layer create a new layer select the K layer create a new layer so now we have two layers one below the M one below the K let's lock the one below the K so we don't accidentally work in it and we're gonna create the breaded part of the text so let's get the pen tool again hit none so there's no fill and we're, we're gonna drop the stroke down to eight and fill in like where the bread would be so you can either do it on the left side or the right side depending on where you want your angle to be from and you can either go uh, do what odd future does and go like straight across to create sort of like the donut shape you can see their lines just stay um, fairly normal I think this looks uh, a lot better but I did it so um, it kind of followed the pattern of the icing like I, I could have just gone straight across uh, but I did a little bit of the wiggle. You can do whichever one you think looks better. They actually both look pretty all right. I'm going to do the odd future style. And on the layer below the M, I'm going to do the M. So I'm just going to select uh, at the bottom, create a little bit of a curve, go up to the top. And I can't really see it because of the yellow. Can I uh, change the color of this real quick? I can double click yellow we'll go we'll go medium blue that should be visible and oh my god make that medium blue and we'll click from the bottom we'll go up a little more create a bigger curve like so actually no we'll go out a little more like that go to the top create a curve inwards and then we'll close it off like that something like that and uh, the stuff behind the icing won't be seen, but you just see this little part. And I mean, I could have done that a lot better. Let me adjust it real fast. And you just want to do this to the all the parts of the M. So I'll just come over here and do the same thing. Close it off. And then you don't want to forget it where it overlaps because that's a pretty important spot. Um, so something like that there we go and uh, <clears throat> we'll call this lowercase m click OK and we'll lock this one and then go to the layer below the K and do the same thing and you'll notice that some of my points at the bottom uh, are a bit off like up here we'll adjust that in a second all right so I closed it off there we go I got what I want and now I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust these points so I'm actually gonna unlock the lowercase m letter layer and just adjust all these so they line up there's the K the other this, oh, this one adjustment a little bit and then we'll do the M up here there we go I'm actually gonna go ahead and call this lowercase K so now all my layers are named properly and since the only unlocked layers are the breaded layers I can just go ahead and select all of these and do some adjustments so what we want to do is fill these with some sort of yellow so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that standard first yellow here in Illustrator and you create something like this um, obviously I could have done a little bit better creating the shapes of those you can see the K looks a little weird here and I'm actually gonna unlock the M both parts of the M and bring it over a tad bit so it's not as overlapped but yeah that's basically what you want to do um, I would probably play around with this to get uh, I'd probably play around with this to get a better I'd probably play around with this, like the breaded part, to get a better look. 
But for tutorial six, I'm just gonna keep uh, moving along here. You get the general idea here. This is our donut's basically done. We just have to add some sprinkles and some droops. So let's go ahead and lock these layers now and create a new one. And this is gonna be our sprinkle or our sprinkles. And we're gonna select none here and just have the black selected. And we're gonna get the pen tool. And you just wanna zoom in here and we're gonna create a little like arced um, line like this. You can see it'll look something like this. And in the other versions of Illustrator, you could just go ahead to stroke and um, round the edges. But for whatever reason, in this new 2017 version of Illustrator, uh, it doesn't let me do that. So what you have to do is go here where it says basic, and this is the brush definition, and just select five point round. So if we look here, it now rounds the edges of that line. And we, I'm just gonna bump up the stroke. We can do two or three. Three is looking a little too thick, we'll do two. And then we wanna select a color, and we wanna do a, like a lighter blue. So I'll select this scion color which looks that looks pretty good and then we can go ahead and press I use alt click and drag to duplicate um, that's probably the easiest way to do this since you're gonna be doing a bunch of them and so do a couple of these for some reason it's not letting me duplicate I just duplicate this guy and we'll go over here to the K rotate it a little bit Why is it not good? Let me zoom in a bit. It should be easier. There we go. Alt, click, drag, rotate. And you want to keep do a couple of those, and then the rest you want to do just normal dots. So you could just create a circle, or you can just do the pen tool, click one point, and select that, and bump up. Actually, we have to select the rounded um, brush definition, and then bump up the size to two or three. And you could probably create one that's two and one that's three. To create different variation, and I'm actually gonna bump, to, or I'm gonna bump this up to four. Nope, never mind. For size, it's not giving me an option to freaking drag it. Stop giving me the sizing stuff. Whatever. And we're gonna do the same method. This, these circles sometimes suck. When I was doing this before, I remember kept trying to duplicate these and it wouldn't give me the arrow to duplicate which is just constantly a problem here we go oh my gosh luckily when you resize this since it's just one point nothing happens actually this is the easiest way just keep holding alt and keep keep clicking and dragging and that should work pretty, pretty all right. All right, so you want to do that a couple times. Create your sprinkle effect, and you can see this is like all really simple stuff, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty odd, future texty. If we look here, it's pretty freaking similar, if you ask me. And uh, now we want to finally finish it off and add some droops. So I think I just kind of copied the shape of a couple of these droops that are here on the Odd Future one. If we look over here, uh, I basically just made a couple variations of droops and duplicated them throughout, resized some of them, and so on. But really, you just have to create um, the standard droop shape, which I actually struggle with. It takes me a little while to actually get it right. So let's go select the black and let's try and create our droop effect so is this the sprinkles layer we're gonna lock this and call it sprinkles all right create a new layer this is gonna be the droops so I'm gonna click kind of curve that one go down here curve it the other way back here curve it like so and curve it out again so that's sort of the droop shape. You kind of have to create a bunch of variations of those, and I kind of screwed up the actual droop part. It's a little too square, and we'll bump up the stroke. Seven should work. Actually, no, we have to do the rounded edge bit, and since this is weird, it might be a little different. Let's select the five point 
brush definition bump it up to two and it actually seems to look better at one but yeah so you can just do that a couple times you want to create a bunch of variations of this and let's just do the alt method you can click that and drag it around and create like three or four I'd recommend and then you can resize some of these and then like flip them transform reflect um, vertical okay and flip them the other way do that throughout if you want to do what I did and do them drop dripping off the bottom you notice if I, if I put that there it doesn't really um, work because there's no fill but if we select that and we can just select the uh, color pink that we used and if you don't have the code it's ef 9 ad one and uh, I copied and pasted it from last time but it was already saved right down there in my fill anyway but yeah so you can just copy that throughout the um, the uh, letters and stuff and then you just want to name that layer droops and you can go ahead and lock that and I probably should have bumped up the stroke another an extra one I think that'll look better um, yeah that was a little too thin but you you get the point and yeah so that's essentially how you create the odd future text hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, if you did please leave a like um, at 100 likes I'll include this uh, file in the description for you guys to download so you guys could use my droops and I have all the colors I used and things if you'd like but subscribe if you uh, enjoy this tutorial if you want to see more and be sure to follow me on Twitter at Quezzy and I'll see you guys next time peace